your body might be dealing with years of chronic and dangerous inflammation without you ever knowing about it. What does diabetes have to do with inflammation of your cells? And what can you do to stop it? Every cell in your body is like a mini you. It's born, it eats, gets old, and dies. A new cell takes its place and the cycle continues. But there's a vast difference between healthy cells and unhealthy cells. And the food you eat controls which types of cells you have. The health of those cells determines the health of you. Here is a typical healthy cell with a vibrant, complex cell membrane. But this cell, on the other hand, has been through some rough times. He's been bombarded with way too much insulin. Why? Because the owner of this cell has spent years eating highly processed, high sugar foods. And now this cell is inflamed. Because of cell inflammation, this poor guy now has diminished insulin receptor sites and he's unable to get a healthy amount of needed blood sugar, or glucose, inside the cell as his source of energy, his food. Glucose that isn't absorbed into your cells stays in your bloodstream and can cause inflammation and damage to other parts of your body. So, what is the difference between the healthy cell and this unhealthy cell? The owner of the healthy cell has fed this lucky guy plenty of omega-3 fatty acids from foods like salmon, walnuts, and eggs. And this healthy cell has been fed healthy carbohydrates from unprocessed whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, which supply needed antioxidants. Oxidation is a process in which dangerous rogue oxygen molecules, otherwise known as free radicals, cause damage to your cells. Leaving free radicals unchecked to float around in your bloodstream means that they may end up attaching to cells in your body, and then they can wreak havoc. Free radicals and their inflammatory oxidation process over time can lead to cancer, Alzheimer's disease, and even cardiovascular disease. And so we need antioxidants from foods like kale, beans, spinach, and raspberries to fight off those free radicals and the chronic inflammation they will cause inside your body. But if you've spent years eating processed high sugar foods, your body might not receive enough antioxidants. Plus, eating those processed foods can cause your cells to get bombarded with way too much insulin which can weaken your cell's insulin receptor sites, which may lead your body and all your cells within down a path of chronic inflammation, early aging, and possibly towards diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's disease. But if we can maintain a healthy diet, we'll maintain healthy cells through their lifespan and healthy cells can help you fight the effects of diabetes or possibly prevent diabetes in the first place. So be sure to take good care of your cells by feeding them what they need. Antioxidant-rich fruits, vegetables, foods high in omega-3 fatty acids, and be sure to cut down on your processed high-sugar food intake to ensure that your cells are not bombarded by too much insulin. So, be good to yourself by being good to yourselves. So now, you get the picture. Every one of your cells is depending on you. Feed them right. Let us know some of your favorite healthy foods and how you get them onto your plate in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this vid, you can get more unique insights into diabetes and nutrition just by clicking the link in the description below. We're giving you two free gifts right now. Learn the absolute best foods to feed your cells and discover some of the most dangerous foods that your cells want you to avoid with the new book, Superfoods for Diabetics. Plus, start your journey on the road to better health by watching the premiere episode of the new eight-part series, That Diabetes Documentary. Episode 1 is free to view right now. 
Just click the link below to get both of these amazing free gifts. And be sure to click the like button and that subscribe button too, so you can be the first to watch more vids just like this. We're releasing new content each week. Thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.